Hi, I'm Joe DeCoya. I'm a product manager from Ubuntu and I look at operator requirements and I'll just give you a quick overview of Ubuntu for phones. So this is the first thing you see, it's the welcome screen uh, which shows you a number of different data feeds. You can double tap and it will change the data that's shown. Um, my device currently isn't showing any data but you would see these sort of circular halos which indicate how much data you've used over the course of a month and each one is individual to the user. So if you look at two of these different devices, um, they would actually have totally different infographics which are um, personal to the individual. Now, we don't have any soft keys, so there's no Android-like soft keys. Everything is done using gestures, and everything is done using the edges. So if I look at the left edge, that's all about the launcher, and that's where you'll find your favorite applications. The top edge, is used for your indicators, so you can swipe down from an indicator and it gives you quick access to your settings. Swipe up to close it. You can swipe along, so if you go along to battery for example, and pull down, that gives you access to your battery settings. And then the right edge is used for multitasking, so quick access to previously running applications. And if you drag in, it gives you this carousel-like effect where you can quickly select a previously running application. And then the bottom edge is used for contextual in-app menus. So that's left edge for launcher, top edge for indicators, right edge for multitasking, and then bottom edge for contextual menus. If you press the home button, that takes you to the home screens, and our home screens are used for surfacing content. So we have these active filters which allow you to search for anything on the page. So this shows you your recent applications. Go further down and it shows you installed applications. You can expand and contract that list. And then this shows you applications which are available on the App Store. So this list is building up. I'm doing this over a cellular collection so it's slightly slow. This shows you the applications currently available. You can click on one of them and install it quite easily. If I move across the home page, that gets you to the music page. And again, this is about surfacing music content. So this shows you local songs. You can flick through, pick on a song to play it. But also this shows you Groove Shark. So Groove Shark is an online uh, music store. And we've integrated their content into our music page. So this could support other music sources. If you do a search, it will search locally, but also search Groove Shark content and present Groove Shark content on the screen. Similar thing with video, so this is my videos, this is online videos. You could also have YouTube or Vimeo or 7Digital. You can do a search and it'll present information and results from all of those different sources. And then since we have this easy content servicing set of templates, you can also create kind of mashup pages. So this is a guide to Barcelona, which features recommendations, which could come from the Spanish tourist board, for example. Uh, features transport, and so this is transport content showing you where the next transport's available. This is local news and then weather from the Weather Channel based on your current location. So this allows OEMs or carriers or developers with content to put that content on the home screen of the device. So you don't have to download an application and run an application to get that content. It's just there for you in your home screen. Again, typical thing, so topical World Cup. So this shows you World Cup news, World Cup highlights. You'll be able to click on one of these and play it, view it online. And so this is a typical sort of operator service, uh, latest match scores, and then player information. So you click on one of those, it takes you to player information, you can view more information. And again, this is, rather than having a World Cup app, this is World Cup content as part of, built into the device. And this is one of our key differentiators, the idea of being able to present content as part of the home screen. And then again, something which is a typical sort of app-like experience. So this is something that shows you your mobile plan, shows you how many minutes you've used, how many messages you've used. So it keeps allows you to monitor your data usage. It shows you your current phone bill, and you'll be able to go online to pay that. Um, it also allows the operator to present you with other bundles which you may be interested in. So you click on that, for example, travel tethering bundle, and you can buy that. Um, and then potentially new devices that are available. So this is one of our key differentiators. So there's three ways of getting content onto a device. Uh, so via an app, so we support 
native applications on C++, Qt, QML, that sort of thing. We also support web apps, so HTML5 type web apps, uh, which can also be integrated into the device, and so you can make use of indicators and location services. But also we support content and servicing of content via this scope template concept. And so that's one of the uh, key differentiators for Ubuntu. Uh, have a look the tablet. So the tablet, uh, let's quickly show you again. The idea here is that we have exactly the same operating system running on the phone on the tablet. One of the key differences on the tablet is that we support these different identities. So you can have a number of identities set up and each one gets their own personalization. So right from customization of the wallpaper, it's showing different data for each person and also a different wallpaper for each person. And then if you go into it, you can have different apps. Um, and different uh, settings for each user. So if I go into the guest, and go in, you'll see that uh, this is a similar experience. So you have the launcher on the left, um, you have the indicators here, but also you have this thing called a side stage, which allows you to have more than one application on screen at once. So you have a main screen, and then you also have uh, an application running in the side screen. So if I uh, can find something like the... Um, I think the clock actually runs full screen. Um, if I could find the, al the calculator, the calculator is a typical application that runs in the, in the side screen, for example. But apart from that, everything is very much the same as on the, the phone. So as the side applications, that's not everything? Uh, that's not any no, this, application? No, this only, we believe there's certain applications which should run uh, in, this, in the side stage, as we call it. So things like the, cal the calculator or the notes application are typical things where you may want something on screen and then use the notes application to take some notes or cut and paste between the two. Okay. Um, and then in terms of the main pages, your home screen, uh, you have your apps, music, video, uh, there's the city guide. Um, and there's the World Cup. So again, the same code, uh, the same experience uh, as running on the tablet. Brilliant. Okay, uh, thank you very much for your help. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.